Welcome to Counterts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the effective interest rate and the nominal interest rate. We're going to be looking at how to convert from one to another, from effective to nominal and from nominal to effective using the financial calculator, the BA2 plus Texas instrument. Okay, and we've done a similar lesson to this before. We showed you how to do it using the formula and we explained in great detail what the effective and the nominal interest rate is and how different they are and why they are different. So if you'd like the link to that lesson, you'll find it in the description below. But here's how we do it using this financial calculator. We have a few examples here that we'll go through. The first one says a bank charges 12% per annum compounded annually. What is the effective interest rate? And if you check out that lesson that we that I just mentioned, you'll find that we say that the effective interest rate and the nominal interest rate will exactly be the same if it's compounded annually. Okay, if it's compounded once per year, they will always be the same. However, if you have more than one compounding per year, then they will be different and effective will always be higher than your nominal. Okay, and you'll see that now as we go through examples. So here's how you do this calculator. You press second function and then you press number two. Okay, on top of number two, it's written icon, which stands for interest conversion. Okay, and there we have nominal. If you press the downward arrow, it's got effective. If you press the downward arrow, it's got the compounding per year. Okay, you'll need those three elements for you to calculate. Okay, so let's look at this one here. Bank charges 12% per annum compounded annually. What is the effective interest rate? Okay, so the 12% is the nominal interest rate. It's compounded annually. So we put the nominal as 12% and then we press enter. Okay, and then we press the upward arrow or you can press the downward arrow twice to get the compounding per year. It's one compounding per year and then we press enter. Then you press upward arrow again and then you just press CPT, the very first button on the top left of, this, of, the, of the calculator. And then it, there it gives you the effective interest rate. It's 12%. And that's exactly what I said. If it's compounded annually, your nominal and your effective will always be the same. Now let's look at the second example. We are told that a bank charges 12% per annum compounded monthly. What is the effective interest rate? What is the effective interest rate? Okay, first let me clear my work. Second function, then C slash C. Now we can start again. So it's compounded monthly and it's 12%. So we are asked what is the effective interest rate? So let's put in the nominal interest rate of 12%, which is compounded monthly. So we put 12, press enter, you press the upward arrow, and then you put the compoundings to 12, okay? And then you press enter, because it's compounded monthly, so that's 12 compoundings per year. And then you press the upward arrow again, and then you press CPT, which stands for compute, and there it has given us the effective interest rate of 12.68%. So you can see that for a nominal interest rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly, the effective rate is the 12.68%. Let's look at the third one. A fixed deposit earns 7% per annum compounded quarterly. What is the effective interest rate? Okay, so the nominal interest rate is 7% compounded quarterly. So we want to know what the effective interest rate is. So let me clear my work. Second function, C is slash C. Okay, so let's put in the 7%, which is the nominal interest rate. And then we press the upward button and then we put in the compounding which is quarterly and quarterly means four times per year so i put four then i press enter and then i press the upward arrow again and then i press cpt okay the very first button on the top left of the calculator and there we have the effective interest rate of seven seven point one nine percent okay let's look at the next example number four we are told that the what is the nominal interest rate compounded quarterly if the effective interest rate is 9% per annum. Now we are moving from effective interest rate to nominal interest rate, okay? Before we've been moving from nominal to effective, okay? So let me clear my work. Now we can do this one. So what we want is the nominal interest rate this time, okay? So let's go to effective. I just press the downward arrow. I put in the effective interest rate of 9%, okay? So I press nine, then I press enter. Then I press the downward arrow again. And now the compounding is, it's quarterly, it's compounded quarterly. So I put in the quarterly and it's already actually quarterly. So I just press four and enter. And then I press the downward arrow again. And then the nominal interest rate is what I compute. And that has given me 8.71%. That is the nominal interest rate. Okay, let's go to the fifth example. Let me clear my work. Okay, what is the effective interest rate for a nominal interest rate of 20% per annum? compounded daily compounded daily so now we're moving from nominal to effective again so the nominal interest rate is 20 percent so i press 20 and i press enter then i press the upward arrow 
and then the compoundings per year is daily so how many days do we have in a year we have 365 so that's what i'll use okay so i'll put 365 and then i press enter and then i press the upward arrow again and then i put the i press the cpt button for compute and there i have computed the effective interest rate which is 22.13 percent 22.13 percent let's look at our last example here we are asked okay let me clear my work okay here we are asked what is the nominal interest rate compounded monthly if you are charged 10.5 percent compounded quarterly so what you should note here is that we are moving from nominal to nominal okay with different compounding so how do we do that well i've written a note down here if you read it it says when changing from nominal to nominal with different compounding first compute the effective then back to nominal okay so let's see how we do that let's first compute the effective we're given a nominal interest rate of 10.5 percent compounded quarterly but we want the nominal interest rate compounded monthly okay so let's compute that first we have to convert this nominal of 20 of, of 10.5 percent compounded quarterly to effective and then we can convert it back to monthly okay so let's put in the 10.5 interest rate nominal interest rate 10.5 and i press enter okay and then i press the upward arrow this 10.5 is compounded quarterly so i put in four and then i press enter and then i press the upward arrow and then i compute effective okay so i press cpt okay and then it is giving me effective interest rate of 10.92 percent okay so i just moved from nominal to effective now i need to move back to nominal but this time compounded monthly okay so we have nominal we have effective interest rate of 10.92 percent so you can clear your work and just put the effective of 10.92 percent or just press the downward arrow and then uh, change that to 12 and then you press enter and why are we changing it to 12 because what we want is compounded nominal interest rate compounded monthly and then you press the downward arrow again and then you compute and there it has given us the nominal interest rate comp uh, compounded monthly is 10.41 percent okay if if, and it's equivalent to a nominal interest rate of 10.5 percent compounded quarterly okay that is what it means i hope you now know how to convert from nominal to effective and from effective to nominal and from nominal to nominal with different compoundings using the ba2 plus texas instrument i hope it has made sense and i hope you've gained value from this lesson and if you have please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers